So we have just a little bit of work left to do in order to finish out the functionality of this template. And the purpose of the template, again, is to find uh, probabilities related to normal distributions. We have wrapped up our discussion of finding probabilities uh, surrounding standard normal distributions. We're going to move now to talking about finding probabilities for variables that are distributed normally but not standard normally. That is, they have some mean other than zero and or some standard deviation other than one. So in order to find probabilities for a normally distributed variable, the first step is standardization. If you'd like some intuition into the standardization process, you can click the link that is appearing right now. So if you have a variable that's normally distributed, but not standard normal, we need to standardize that variable. In other words, we need to shift it over by its mean and rescale it. So let's go through a hypothetical. We have a normal variable uh, x. In other words, x is normally distributed with mean 50, standard deviation 5. And we want to know the probability that x is between, say, 45 and 51. How would we go about finding that? We need to go from a normal variable to a standard normal variable. In order to do that, we need to shift the distribution to, in this case, to the left 50 units. So equals x minus 50. And that will shift that distribution from a normal distribution mean 50 to a normal distribution mean 0. Then we need to rescale it by its own standard deviation or uh, divided by sigma in this case. And now we have a variable that is standard normal in its distribution. We'll do the same thing for x high in this case. Uh, so take x and subtract from it its own mean and rescale it by its own standard deviation. Now we have our two z values. So to find our probabilities we can use the template we used before. We can even map these z-scores to our new conclusions, right? Um, and we can do the same thing here, equals z low, enter, equals z high, enter. And we can see that the probability that x falls between 45 and 51, given x is normally distributed with this mean and standard deviation, is... 42.06 and the probability that z falls outside of that interval is 57.94. The probability that x is, let's see, we used this z-score, so the, the probability that x is less than 45 is 15.87 percent and the probability that x is greater than 45, x is greater than 45 is 84.13%. Now the last thing that we have to do is how do we work backwards in this scenario? We know from before that we can work from a probability to a z-score. How do we then work to an x? In other words, what is x in this case such that 84% of the um, observations from that distribution will fall below that x? Well, to get from x or to get from x to z, we subtracted mu from x and divided by sigma. Now we need to go backwards. And once you work through the algebra, you'll find that that, is, that means that we need to say that x is equal to z times sigma plus mu. And the same here. So in other words, the probability that x in this case is less than 55 is 84.13%, and the probability that x is greater than 45 in this case is 84.13%. I have put in a button here that will clear all of the results so that uh, will prevent confusion between running this template on different problems.
If you'd like to see how to add this button to any Excel worksheet, uh, just watch the next video in the series. Thanks for watching, and I hope that this helped.